What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL. Shout out to the DFS squad. Shout out to everybody watching this video right now. Drop a like down below because I already know you're going to love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already real quick, man. Shout out to all of my lineup squad that went to greenlightdfs.com and signed up for the lines, man. We had a huge, huge night. Your boy got you to a 320 one this whole single this every single game this year we've gotten damn near 300 every night and we have done very good every night finally i was able to give you guys over 300 not just barely over 300 321 i had lineup subscribers hit me up showing that they won over a thousand dollars tonight i didn't win that much because i played much smaller than they did tonight because i was busy and doing other things but it doesn't even matter to me i'm glad you guys won that much that's what i do this for go to greenlightdfs.com if you guys want to get in on the nba it's about time all right let's go ahead and get straight into the high five for saturday we have a 10 game slate on tap let's get straight into it all right, guys, let's get straight into this 10-game slate. I'm going to give you guys my high five, my five players that I want to run as my core guys, and then I'm going to fit some value around them. Starting off at point guard, one of my favorite point guards that I'm going to go with value-wise is at 7,700, Mike Conley. Going against Golden State is a great matchup because Steph Curry's not good defensively and Golden State always keeps the game close. I love Mike Conley's potential here at 7,700. Lock him in. At small forward, Devin Booker. Devin Booker just put up major points for me uh, last night. Now he gets to go against the uh, Clippers team that lost Redick, who was their very good perimeter defender in stopping the guards. Now he is gone, so Devin Booker's going to run amok. He's young. He can handle back-to-backs. On top of that, Eric Bledsoe barely played in this game. He had a little in ankle injury. I doubt that they would play him on a back-to-back, -back, so he will probably sit. That's going to raise Devin Booker's usage rate through the roof. I love him at 7,000. Absolutely love him. At power forward, a guy who showed out last game, Christoph Porzingis, when he played OKC last, he went absolutely crazy. And Detroit is a team that you like to pick on down low. All right. Power forwards do amazing versus Detroit. And Porzingis has shown that he's ready to take on that extra scoring uh, that New York needs him to bring. All right. With Carmelo gone, he's up for that challenge. He's ready to be the star. And Porzingis is a beast, all right? I love him. Lock him in. At center, oh, I'm staying at the top. Blake Griffin. Now that Paul George is gone, Blake Griffin runs this offense. He is going to be a beast all year. He's going to have one of the best, better years of his career. Um, I absolutely love him at home here. Going against Phoenix, a fast-paced team. Blake Griffin is going to kill it. I expect Phoenix to stay close here in this matchup. I love Blake Griffin. Love him. All right. Last. Oh, well, is that it? Uh, no, it's not. I got you guys right here at guard. Sorry. Guard. I'm finishing off with a little cheap option for you guys, but I got to put him in the high five because I love his potential. Uh, let me find him. Let me find him. JJ Barea. I mentioned him in the bargain bin yesterday, but I think he deserves to be in the high five today. Seeing that Dennis Smith Jr. is going to miss Saturday's game against the Rockets, JJ is going to get a lot of minutes. I also like Yogi. If you even want to put Yogi in the same lineup as, as JJ, they're both really, really cheap and they're both going to get a lot of minutes together. So I like JJ Barea a lot at 42. He's been consistent already, even with Dennis Smith playing. Um, I love JJ at 4,200. Lock him into the high five, and that's it. Mike Conley, Devin Booker, Christoph Porzingis, Blake Griffin, and JJ Barea is the high five. Lock those guys in, find some value around them, and you will be ready to go. I've got some value I'm going to tell you guys about. First off, Yogi Farrell. Farrell. All right, Yogi. He is going to be playing beside JJ a lot, okay, with Dennis Smith Jr. out. Both of these guys are good values, okay? You got JJ Barea at 42. You got Yogi also at 42, 
Okay, you can put Yogi at shooting guard or point guard, so you can use these guys in the same lineup, and I don't fault you for it. I think they're both going to get 25-plus points here in a matchup against a fast-paced Houston team. I love J.J. Barea, and I like Yogi Ferrell together even, and they're both really, really cheap, so I like them. Um, some other guys I like, Josh Richardson at 46 going against, the pay, uh, going against Indiana. Uh, it's a great matchup for Richardson. Uh, he didn't have the greatest first game, only scoring 17. But this Pacers team has given up on average 37 DraftKings points a game the last 20 games. That's part of last year as well. Okay, That's showing that they are going to give it up without Paul George helping them out there. I love Josh Richardson here in that matchup. At 46, he's another great value. Last value I'm going to give you guys is Terrence Ross. For Orlando, he's 4,400 going against Cleveland. Now, I understand that they have LeBron there, but Cleveland gave up some of the most points in the league to that position last year. They're going to need Terrence to put up points to try to keep it close here with Cleveland. I like Terrence's potential at 4,400. Lock him in as a value. And that's it, guys. Good luck, everybody. Remember... I like Yogi Ferrell and I like J.J. Barea, even matched up if you want. They're both real cheap and they're in amazing spots with Dennis Smith Jr. out. All right? Thank you guys for watching. As always, hit up GreenLightDFS.com. Join the squad. Like the video down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'm out.